Hey everyone, it's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, I will briefly be discussing the haves, which are the devices that you see right here, versus the have nots, which are the devices you're looking at right now. Now, before you get into what exactly I'm talking about, let me dim the lights and get a little closer for you. Now, as you see, the haves, they all have LED lights that are going off right now. So these devices, have a nice LED notification for us to see what comes in even if we're across the room. Most phones have gotten rid of that and now I had to find an app that can replace that and actually to me is a lot better. So here is, um, this phone is going a little crazy because I haven't had the Mate 20X on for a while but it is bringing up all the no notifications that I have. You see how clear, you can see what your application is going off, but also the biggest part for me is how bright you can see it in the darkest environment. And as you see right here, this is a pitch black room and you can see your notifications perfectly clear. So I see I have a Gmail, I see I have a Twitter, and it's nice and bright. Now here is the Mate 20X in um, a, a fairly nicely lit room and you can still see the notifications, but my problem is when I got my Galaxy S10 Plus, I realized they actually ditched the LED notification because there, there's just no notch on there anymore. And the same thing with the Moto G7, which is a very nice device as well, that just has a teardrop notch. And um, I first really was bummed out about it when I tried the OnePlus 6T. Now, how do we get this application? Let me go ahead and show you. You're gonna go to the Play Store and you're gonna go ahead and install LED blinker notification. And this is a paid version that I have. And you'll go ahead and accept. And they do have a uh, free version, but I'm not sure what it's limited to. Here's some of the news or information, just in case, facts and questions. And so you can read that. And the guy actually, the creator of this app is very, very helpful. I had issues with the Huawei Mate 20X and he um, was so quick to get back with me. You'll have to go ahead and allow the LED Blinker Pro. So as you see, I have to toggle that on. And it just kind of gives you, um, it's gonna read all your notifications and that will allow it to go off when it needs to. We'll go back and it just gives us uh, guidelines of Google Play. And I'll just go ahead and accept that. And then it says it can be the only app for LED. So I say, okay, let's go ahead and deactivate the uh, dose mode. And it just says, stop optimizing battery usage. We'll just go ahead and say, okay. And here are some of the apps that they already have on there. Uh, I got the phone, messages, and Gmail, a battery, and a charging battery indicator. So inside of here, we can see, we can actually add apps, their settings, laboratory functions, last notifications, news, and much more. Let's go ahead and say add app. So you get four boxes, add app, manage smart notification apps, choose the color for contact, and standard apps. So I want to go ahead and take a look at the um, ad app. So it's generating my list of apps that I have. So you can go ahead and scroll through or go ahead and type it in. We'll go ahead and say, I need Yahoo Mail. And you see it's added just like that. And if I go and tap on it, you can, you can test settings, color, or deactivate. So let's test it out. So it says you have to remove all the current stuff that you have on your status bar. So if I press it and turn the phone off, a quick always on display, but then there's that notification if I get a mail, an email from Yahoo. So let's go ahead and actually switch that to make it the actual app icon. So when I hit that button, you see now it has the actual icon instead of a blue circle. So I'm going to actually do this for all of them because it's just much easier to know exactly what it is instead of trying to remember what color goes to what app. So I wanna go ahead and add a few more of my apps that I know that I use all the time. So like for instance, let's just put in YouTube. And as you see, we'll add some more. 
and let's do the YouTube or the uh, I think it's studio this helps me answer comments so we'll go ahead and add that and we'll add another one one last one for right now let's add uh, Instagram and there you see it came up so here are some of the apps I just added and as you see it's fairly easy to add apps but now I'm gonna go ahead and just say um, I want to see the app icon instead of the uh, color so let me just go ahead and just put these in it just looks much better so here they are they all have their own icon and now let's test it out quick always on display then it goes boom right into the LED notification the blinker notification actually and it's the Instagram icon so I think that's a lot better than actually the LED light that was on the Samsung phones before the S10 the S10 line came out so let's go ahead and look at some of these settings um, LED blinker activated okay battery level um, do not disturb mode overwrite system LED which is checked on reset colors and rear or front flash let me go ahead and give myself a call and see just how this works or if it's even working okay so I'm calling myself and I'm just gonna let it um, I'm hang up real quick so it went to my lock screen so let's see this is gonna time out shortly it should and then so it always does a quick second of your always on display and then you get your icon right there so that's pretty cool and um, it will go away when you actually open the notifications so let's continue on to what other settings they have extras is there anything so right now uh, light theme is on and I normally like to do dark mode so there you go the dark mode um, laboratory functions so so down here you see new layout on screen LED so I'll go ahead and check that and the camera flash so I'll check those two and you can also donate on this page if you would like on this page it gives us a bunch more options screen LED is checked on but let's go ahead and go to blink rate and I would like to hit medium blink rate meaning when how the icon flashes then we can go ahead and do the brightness I'll leave it low for now but you see it can get very bright and let's do random LED position meaning that when it does flash the icons will randomly be different parts of the screen um, and let's make the icons extra large and is there anything else I want to show the time and I would like to show the date and that's just the test color that comes up but we are actually using the icons and let's let that be and go ahead and test it for now and let's see how this looks and remember did extra large icon app and as you see look how large the circle is and of course this is in test mode so it'd be the icon of whatever notification is coming up and you see the date and time so here it again how it looks on a phone that's more set up and you see my messages and Twitter they're blinking on different parts of the screen now let's go ahead and test if the edge lighting still works with this app enabled so as you see I just text myself and in fact the edge lighting still functions as it did without the app installed that's a plus in my book so I'm really liking this app and I would totally recommend it for the people who are still in shock over losing the LED notification on a Samsung device this app does work on of course other Android devices I have not actually tried it on my iPhone I'm not sure if that works or not I'll have to let you know but as far as Android devices this totally wins so thanks for watching and everyone I want you guys to have a spectacular day until next time later